got a listing of mine removed from eBay, Posh, Mercari, Etsy, and Vinted the same day. What? Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. It's that time again. What time? It's time for the... Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Uh, Vero's, the suspensions, the policy violations, the things that got taken down from eBay, and quite possibly some other platforms. We're going to see what everybody has brought to us today. Um, I posted this in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. It says, share your Vero. I do ask people to include screenshots of things that come from the different platforms, telling them why their item was in violation. That really helps us learn. Sometimes we get that, sometimes we don't. So these are resellers telling their experiences. So I'm gonna give you as much information as they gave me, and you guys may have to do a little extra research, but it's at least gonna give you an idea of some current issues taking place on these platforms, things that maybe you shouldn't be listing. All right, so we are going to get started here. Thank you for being here. I'm Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. I typically talk about big money bolos and bread and butter bolos. Basically, items to be on the lookout for, items you can source cheap and sell for a profit. So check out some of my other videos. They are much more uplifting and fun. Much more fun. Way more fun than this because this is not fun. This isn't fun. This is just like not fun, but necessary. So I have a whole playlist of these. And again, thank you to everybody that shared. This is so helpful to helping everybody keep their account safe. So I appreciate all of you that shared. Thank you so much. And thank you all for watching. So let's start with the first one. Sticky Buddy by Telebrands. In fact, mine was brand new in the box and company said it was fake. Yeah, whatever, tons of others for sale and have sold on eBay. So you're going to hear some upset people. You're going to be able to tell by how I read what they're saying that they're frustrated. And sometimes, you know, things get taken down when maybe they shouldn't. I don't know if that's what happened here, but let's, let's read on. And I picked it up at the bins. And well, it ended up in the trash where it was destined to be probably a useless product anyways. We'll never ever buy anything from Telebrands. Think I paid 25 cents for it in a sticky buddy box with all the components sealed in plastic with their directions. At the time, I think comp said the most I could get was 25 was not worth my time arguing. So into the landfill it went. Yeah, you know, I have to agree with you. And sometimes the same thing with eBay and some of the different things that happen, you know, even if it's just minor, it's like, is it even worth trying to get in touch with someone who's actually going to listen and understand what I'm trying to say? Now, I will say there are some excellent eBay representatives. Uh, empty cigarette packages. It was within the eBay guidelines, but I kept getting error messages when trying to list. I had empty in the title, so I didn't expect any issues. Finally got to go through the listing process by adding collectible and removing cigarettes from the title. So empty collectible packs in the category cigarettes works. Huh. Yeah. So here's what I would say to that. It looks like she got around it. I don't know if you're allowed to list this or not. I, If it's empty, that's vintage advertising. And it is collectible. Yes, people do buy it. Somebody put, people buy empty cigarette packs. Yeah, people buy empty a lot of things. Boxes, things you think are trash, people buy. Uh, yeah, this one's tricky. Because you can't sell cigarettes. So maybe cigarettes was the word that was getting picked up. I'm not really sure. She said they were limited edition collector's packs, special artwork on them. Two had already sold where nothing special except they came from Russia and Italy. I had no idea if anyone wanted, but thought it doesn't hurt to list. Sold within a day or two of listing. Yeah, I mean, it's vintage advertising, essentially. People collect it. They do. But 
so many things are little triggers that get picked up as keywords. So you got to be really careful. Somebody put, I recently sold an empty metal tea container, empty Saworski box and empty cigar box. People want boxes. Yeah. The word Kleenex got a listing of mine removed from eBay, Posh, Mercari, Etsy, and Vinted the same day. What? Okay. So eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Etsy, and Vinted. Five platforms got him. Five for the word Kleenex. Don't use that word. He said, a heads up. There are AI companies now that brands are hiring to find their names used anywhere on the internet. And one of the AI companies actually brags about how many listings it has removed and sellers banned. Major companies are feeling the economy and they are out to slow the reselling of their items online. Wow. This is how the listing was worded using Kleenex. Hollywood Regency Filigree um, or Malu Kleenex box holder vintage. Okay. So here's what happened. This is why the listing got removed. In my opinion, Kleenex is a, it, it was probably a copyright or a trademark violation. This Kleenex box that he's calling a Kleenex box probably holds a cardboard Kleenex box, but I'm guessing it is not Kleenex brand. So that's probably why it got removed. That would be my guess. So you have to be very, very careful that what you're putting inside the item is not used in the title if it's not that brand. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Let's see what some people wrote. Okay, so somebody wrote Kleenex is trademark name like Velcro or versus hook and loop. Bet it would go through if you had said tissue holder. That's what I was trying to say. So Velcro, you cannot use the word Velcro unless it is Velcro brand. You have to use hook and loop. So if you have a pair of shoes that have Velcro on them, you cannot use Velcro in the title. You have to say hook and loop. Um, tissue holder would have been, yeah, probably better. He wrote, I've sold well over 50 of these and use Kleenex every time. This was the first time it ever got removed and it was removed on multiple platforms at the same time within an hour each. Just because it got through 50 times doesn't mean it's permissible. All tissues aren't Kleenex and Kleenex is trademarked. Just like all snap button t-shirts aren't onesies. Onesies is another one that will get you. Um, you cannot call, so a little, a baby's uh, bodysuit one Z is trademarked. It is the brand. You cannot call every bodysuit that snaps a one Z. You have to call it a bodysuit. Okay. If you use one Z and it's not by the brand one Z, it's going to get a violation. So all hook and loop isn't Velcro. All copies aren't Xerox and all cotton swabs aren't Q-tips. So if you have cotton swabs, you can't call them Q-tips unless they are Q-tip brand. So these are all great ones that get you a lot. Just because these names are commonly used does not make it legal. They result in trademark violations unless the t-shirt is made by Gerber, which is onesie. The Velcro is actually made by Velcro. The cotton swab is actually a Q-tip or the tissue is actually Kleenex. So really great information. So he wrote, I've been on eBay since 2004, so I'm very familiar with selling in Vero's. My point was that multiple platforms at one time buy a company that is using AI to enforce on behalf of trademark holders. So I would say whether or not it is AI, if it is somebody searching eBay for keywords, um, there's companies out there that look for things that work for those companies. And Kleenex is definitely one that you don't want to use. Vintage 1960s wooden Remington breech U.S. Calvary pistol tie rack holds 12. I listed this tie rack on both eBay, Mercari, and Facebook. I was told I was not allowed to sell guns or firearms on eBay and Facebook. They were both taken down. Within a week, I had sold the item on Mercari. I submitted, submitted a re-evaluation on both Facebook and eBay and received no results. So I don't wonder if it's a real pistol. 
Hmm. Huh. I mean, it's a tie rack. I see that. But if it's a real pistol, I, I get it. I don't think you're allowed to sell that. So, hmm. I wouldn't put it on Mercari either. It doesn't look like a toy. It doesn't look like a mold. I mean, it looks legit. So yeah, I probably wouldn't have sold that. Bikini Zone, because it has lidocaine in it? Huh? What? Hmm. I don't know. Fill me in. Anybody know what that means? I'm going to leave it because it might help someone, but I don't know. Pyrex Corn Flour Electric Six Cup Coffee Pot. Um, they think it's recalled. They think that's why it got pulled. Somebody said I had a Pyrex teapot, not electric, and they said it was recalled and then sent me a picture of an electric one, not same pot. Hmm. I got one for an HP Inc. There were a lot listed exactly like it. I also got one for a boat made of animal horn. No consequences so far. Okay, so HP Inc. I don't think that can be sold internationally. Not 100% sure. I feel like I've talked about that one before. Animal horn would be considered probably bone. And um, ivory cannot be sold. So there are certain rules for ivory and bone. I don't know specifically. I know some things have to do with dates. And I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Animal horn. I don't know what animal horn she specifically sold. So... Fake Elf on the Shelf toy. I didn't know it was fake. Real Elf on the Shelf items are a Vero, somebody said. So it looks like maybe Elf on the Shelf is getting people. I In one of my recent videos, uh, it was a Vero video, and I said I would have been fighting this. You guys, go check that one out because it's an Elf on the Shelf situation, but not your standard Elf on the Shelf. It has to do with the Pixie Elves, and completely threw me for a loop. So I'll try to remember to link that one down below. I had a Sonic Clear skin cleansing device removed from eBay for Vero warning that said the manufacturer deemed it counterfeit. The item was originally purchased at Walmart and still at Walmart and was still sealed in its original packaging. The company never responded to my email regarding the subject. It seems to me that they just didn't want anyone selling the product. It's not on the list of Vero items on eBay, and it is not counterfeit. So the Vero list on eBay, is it inclusive? Does it include every single thing that is a Vero? No. Are every single items that are on that Vero list enforced? Probably not. That is why I love these videos because these are actual experiences of actual resellers like you and me. Things that are happening right now, current time. So it lets us know that we need to be careful. And here is a screenshot of what this thing looked like and the violation, which is too small for me to read. Put it right there and you guys can read it. OYO sports minifigure. Lego has a lawsuit against them. Odd that, I'm sorry, odd though that it wasn't until after it sold and I shipped it that it was removed. Somebody said they got one also. Me too. It was OYO Boston Red Sox field cart set. Wondered what the problem was. Now I know. So I'm guessing it's somebody knocking off Lego. If, um, OYO Sports, maybe they use the word minifigure and minifigure is trademarked. So that could be it. That could be why the lawsuit is taking place. I have no idea. I'm just speculating right now. I have not heard of OYO Sports, but be careful if you find that because it looks like there's been multiple people that have had violations for that. And with that being said, it wasn't... Uh, they didn't get a notification until after it was sold. That happens a lot. So don't think because you sold it, you're like out of the water because uh, they can still get you even in your solds. I just had this Medtronic item removed from eBay and Mercari for violating their medical device policy, which is annoying because it's not even a device. 
just one of the replaceable pieces. Uh, somebody said, me too, after eBay told me how to list it. Same happened to me. Um, warning for Norwex cloth. Said it was fake. Sent them a copy of my receipt of purchase from Nor Norwex, but haven't heard back. Okay. Two totally different things. So the first thing, medical device. It seems to be that medical device replacement parts are starting to be removed also. So be careful with that. Norwex um, is a direct sales company. They do not want people selling their items. It is a Vero. Uh, whether or not the item was counterfeit or fake, I have no idea. But according to most direct sales companies, you're not allowed to sell their products. I know that's for consultants, as, at least. I don't know if you um, just purchase something as a consumer or a customer and you are not a, you don't, uh, you're not affiliated with the company. I don't know, but it looks like they got that person. Very recent Vero, my first ever two, and that's because of using stock photo for Chico's ankle pants. Yes, Chico's will get you for stock photos. Uh, somebody else said White House Black Market. Yep, we've talked about that one before. It looks like they're sister companies, huh? I would just say use your own photos because more and more companies are coming in and doing this with the stock photos. This item was removed from Mercari. It is Shea Moisture Detox Bath Tea Black Leaf Body Fair Trade Ingredients. Uh, somebody said, I'm guessing because it's tea and no food is allowed, even though it is a bath item. That's what somebody wrote. And she said, yeah, maybe. Funny thing is, it's been listed a really long time. Totally up for grabs. Hmm. Interesting. So maybe, yeah. Hmm. You can't sell food on Mercari. My personal experience has been that Rosetta Stone will pull anything, even if legitimate, any hairdryer without a ground fault circuit interpreter, the black box at the end, made before 1987 is a danger of being pulled and is also an elect truction elect elect <laughs> oh my gosh electrocution <laughs> i don't know if that's spelled wrong or i can't read um and is also an electrocution danger 80 million plus were made i see them all the time at thrift stores and had one pulled once before i learned and they included a, they searched cpsc.gov hazardous hair dryers recalled. And you guys can look that up if you want. Uh, the, the guy game prohibited adult content. It's a video game. And yeah, this was in another video. It has, I guess, a minor in it. So it's considered underage nudity. I don't know that they're actually nude or if they're just in swimsuits that are skimpy. I mean, it's an Xbox game, but this was talked about in another video, but this is what the cover of the video looks like. But apparently somebody had wrote that one of the girls was 17 and I don't know if she used a fake ID or what, but became a part of this video. So anyhow, Richard Pryor um, and his estate are, we're not going to say that. Um, I got a Vero from them on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Etsy during the same week. You cannot put his name in a title or description. I know people sell with his name, but they will catch it. So title and description not allowed. Looks like eBay, Poshmark, Macari, and Etsy are all getting hit with Richard Pryor. So that's good to know. It, <clears throat> it cosmetics, intellectual content. Jeffrey Star Cosmetics, anything apparently. Patagonia brand, stock photos, Re Reformation, Reformation, sorry, stock photos, Beyond Yoga, stock photos. Oh my goodness, I get in trouble a lot. So yeah, don't use stock photos. That's the takeaway. Mercari, sealed packages of 32 count powdered liquid, IV hydration packs was removed since it was food related. Mercari, old pocket knives, 
over 70 years old, took them down and told me they were weapons and against policy. On Posh, I had a fake Prada bag. I was just beginning in the reselling business and found it at a thrift store. I had it listed for what I paid, $5. Next day, the listing was taken off and I had a warning. That's it for the past three years of reselling. Railroad lock keys. Hmm. Railroad lock keys. That's all it says, guys. I thought those were a bolo, but apparently they're also not allowed on eBay. So be careful with railroad lock keys. I know old locks, a lot of them can do well. I was thinking anything railroad related can, can typically do well, but definitely not worth the risk. You guys, if people are getting them removed, I would not list. I would research it, look into it before listing. Long time ago and lesson learned mentioning Velcro. Don't ban me. <laughs> I'm not going to ban you. Everybody brings up Velcro, but I will tell you it's important that it's in every video because that is one of the ones that they will get you just like that on. And if you're a new reseller, you don't know not to use the word Velcro. So it is still important to mention. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. There's going to be more videos like this. I have a whole entire playlist. Turn it on while you work. Listen to it. Get familiar with some of those big ones that are getting hit all the time. And there was a lot in here today that I've never heard of. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.